Hey yo there ladies and gentlemen, it's Valen and I would like to welcome you back to Dark Souls. Last episode, taking the right of kindling, we decided to delve into the demon ruins and found a bunch of highly skilled sword demons that I to this day can't get past or not get past but cannot overcome with my own skill. So yeah, we just decided to fudge them, and they are right up there, above us, always watching over us, judging us menacingly. But, anyways, we will be going to face off against a boss that is in that fog door you can see back there. Um, I decided before losing my souls to this boss, that it might be good to level up since we're so close. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. We're going to level up. Um, we have our dexterity at 40. Would 47 mean a lot? Uh, we haven't... Yeah, let's pump the rest into damage. Because... We have a lot of health. I, we have a lot of health to make up for the fact we don't have a lot of defenses. Um, our endurance is pretty good with the ring. And I don't see us needing any more attunement slots, so... Yeah. Also, our faith is very low. We do not believe in the gods, which is a very fitting, um, a very fitting stat line for our character right now. And intelligence is, eh, it could be better. We're not the brightest, but, you know, we're middle of the road. And with that, we got our level up. Let's also repair equipment before we go in. Let's get our scythe looking pretty, our shield looking good. We have to go in there looking... We have to look dapper. Proper. Well-formed and well-fit. Oh, good. Uh, goodness, everything was like on the verge of breaking. If I had gotten hit by those acid slugs or worms or whatever they are, it may have broken. Um, I've never actually let an item get broken before, so I don't know if they just disappear forever. Please let me know if you know for sure. Um, so, yeah. I've never really ran that risk before. Come on. There we go. Now we have to face off against this one. He's coming back to us. He's like, oh, a rematch! And now we reap you again. Yay! Okay. We got those souls. Don't spit goo at us. That's rude. Oh, whoa, that... Ow! That cleave didn't get him, too. Okay, then. That's interesting. And before facing off against the demon, I would like to go here. Jump. Sweet, we made it. First try every time. I'm the greatest. Please stroke my ego. And we got a soul of a brave warrior. However, that's not the main reason for coming here. We jump down here. And soon, like right about now, we are greeted to these little pesky insect things. They don't really give too much souls. You don't really have to worry about them. However, there is this great door. Locked by some contraption. There are two ways to open this door. One, you can go to the other side, or two, you can become a, um, I forget what it is. You worship the fair lady and you give her so much humanity and you become plus two in her covenant. And with that, you can, you get a special item that opens up this door for you. Um, for those of you that know what's beyond there, I will not be doing that. Because this is a kill everyone run, and the only way to kill him is to let that happen. Which is very sad. We love him. He is our one and only, and we must... He's the last shred of our humanity, so we have to release it in order to become the full potential. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, it will be explained all too clearly. But for right now, we have... A rehash of a boss to face off against. One that thinks he is big and bad and fiery and... Oh lord! 
Ow! And smacked me with his hammer. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He's going to do the AOE wave. Okay, that's good. Ooh, that's actually some decent damage, man. Wow, that's actually some really decent damage. Whoa, did he just bleed? Wow, I've never actually taken out that boss that quick. Normally I die to him once. And don't... Don't think that I've gotten good with that. No, that's um... That's purely the scythe at work. That is the damage of this insane, insane weapon. Holy snap, we really are a reaper. Normally I die to him at least once. Pushing through and just cutting his gut should not work like that. Oh my. Okay. That, yeah, if you want to easy mode this game, just get the Great Scythe and level it up to the highest you can get it. Oh lord, I kind of feel like I'm cheating now. I mean, I've endured, ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. I've endured the hardships just like everyone else, but yeah. Whew. I did. I'm still baffled that it. That it does so much damage. Cleave! Stab! Give me this soul. Soul of a brave warrior. Fantastic. And now. We ascend upwards. We're not, this is not actually the true um, path forward, but this leads to like a little, a little shortcut that I like. You'll realize it once you get there. Hey, it's Quaylag's domain. And we're all the way back with the fair lady. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We're going to sit here, take a little rest. Can we level up? Yes, we can. Pop another into dexterity. And, bye fair lady. Um, I plan on doing a little chatting with her near end game. I plan to, I shouldn't say I plan too much, but I want to, um, I want to get a lot of things done before we fight Gwen, because if you face off against Gwen, it instantly starts you over at the title screen or new game plus. Um, so yeah, it may be your best bet to finish everything before facing off against Gwen. Oh, no! Can you please? Please? Thank you. I was a big old dummy. I just stood in there, but I didn't want to roll to the side and fall to my doom. So, yeah. Whoa! There he is. He's doing a little rocky motion. Rocking back and forth. It's like, oh god, he's coming. He's coming. I don't know. I'm just being silly at this moment. Because I have a, uh... A harder boss to face off against now. And I don't know how this one will go with the scythe. I mean, I have a general strategy of how to face off against it. But I cannot promise it will be... A first shot attempt. I would be surprised if it is, and knowing this weapon that guides my actions, it probably will be a one shot, but we'll have to see. First, we're going to go over here, grab the soul of a brave warrior, and now we're going to jump down to this one. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Nope, it wasn't that one. It was a little further up. Oh well. <sighs> now, another boss fight. I know, right? Two for the price of one. Fantastic. And, yeah, let's just take a sip for good luck. Traverse the white light. <laughs> Whoo. Fun, fun, fun on a bun. Hey, look, it's that creature that we saw right in front of the soul. 
and it delatches itself. That's why I tried to hit it, but sadly, it, I guess you can't hit it. The centipede demon has come! Um, little tip for this boss, you can cut off its tail. It does not really matter if you cut it off, though. Actually, it may hurt you if you cut it off. What I like to do is I like to run all the way over here. Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Oh! Well, can't ignore that. Whew, take two sips. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, right here is where I normally like to fight it. Ow! Really? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dodge! No! Why are you being a jerk today? Oh my goodness, it's just being a big old asshole. And I died. It was just being a jerk. Oh, Lord. But yes, as I was saying, I couldn't get into position fast enough. As I was saying, if you cut off its tail, you get an item that you would get regardless. However, the tail becomes its own little enemy and tries to gnaw at your ankles. So, yeah, that's that's always fun to deal with. Uh, well, let's give it another go. Also, you have to kill the tail as well, or else it does not a lot of damage, but enough to hamper you. Alright. Now, good. You're starting all the way over there. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Whew. Okay. Ow! Stop! being a jerk oh yeah that's right with this boss you don't have to lock on it actually hurts you to lock on to it oh god he's they're jumping they're jumping they're jumping when they jump they're just going to land straight onto you yeah try and get like right under it ow Two sips. Oh. Ow, what are you doing exactly? Wish you decide what you want to do. Oh no! I walked... The camera messed me up. I walked into the lava. No, we were close. <sighs> that was so close. Ow! Stop it! Oh, oh my god. Really? Now you're giving me a lot of trouble. Alright, half health. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing? Can you come closer, please? Can you come closer, please? Okay, good. I think this is it. This is it. Yes! I did it! I did it! You big old multi-legged SOB. Uh, the orange charred ring. Perfect. Humanity, a homeward bone. Beautiful. I don't know if there's a way to open up this door right here. I, I think there is. Which, you have to become a witch of easily, or something like that. Anyways, on towards this ring, which is the only thing they gave us, which is what you would have gotten if you cut off its tail. Actually, I can't remember completely if you, um, you get anything extra for killing it after kill cutting off the ring. But notice that it does not give you a boss soul. The orange charred ring reduces lava damage. An orange ring enchanted by a witch reduces lava damage. Since his swords were inflamed by lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him this special ring. But fool that he is, 
he readily dropped it. And from that spot, a terrible Stampede Demon was born. Yes, that, um, it is believed this ring that, since he was born of lava and it always hurt him, it was, uh, the creature that we fought upstairs, the one where we found our golden hemp robe, or golden hempen robe, I forget, golden laced, I'm sorry, uh, the one we are currently wearing right now, and the demon that we made fall off the ledge. It is believed this ring belonged to him, and he accidentally dropped off the ledge, just as he dropped off the ledge. So yeah, interesting. Um, please note how little damage we actually take from lava now. So that's pretty cool. And we actually need that lava reduction to get to here. And who do we meet here after our long travels? Well, we meet our best friend, Solaire. Hey there, son, bro. What you doing all the way down here? Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Oh, what you looking for, my brother? Why? Oh. Why? After all... He's... he's distraught right now. I understand, my friend. I'm searching for something, too, that I... I'm having a hard time finding. It is called a worthy challenge, haha! -ha! No. Um, that, that easy boss, which they don't even consider a boss because it doesn't give you a soul. Well, I guess it does consider a boss, but anyways, I lost to it multiple times. So yeah, I have no right to talk. But we will bump up our dexterity a little bit. And I think that is enough excitement for one day. Next time, we will be delving deeper into this, uh, this treacherous lava and finding out what terrors are ahead of us. But that is a story for another day. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a great evening. This has been Valen. See ya.